Today we will be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts Turn Signal and Glass Upgrade Kit into your 2019 and newer GM truck equipped with OEM tow mirrors. At the time of filming this video, this procedure applies to 2019 and newer Silverados and Sierra 1500s equipped with OEM tow mirrors as well as 2020 and newer 25 and 3500 Silverados and Sierras equipped with OEM tow mirrors. For exact fitment, please visit our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Remove the lower glass using both your hands to pry it off. Remove the upper glass by adjusting it to the full up position. Then take both your hands, place them behind, and snap the glass off. Unplug the wires for defrost from the terminals on the back of the glass. If your mirrors are only equipped with blind spot monitoring, you may have a two pin connector in the back of the indicator. Just unplug this. If your mirrors are equipped with blind spot monitoring as well as auto dim, you will need to use a flat blade screwdriver to remove this connector from the back of the glass. Pushing down on the top latch on the connector for the blind spot monitoring, pull the connectors apart to fully release the glass. Using both hands, extend the mirror to a halfway extended out position. There should be a gap between the mirror arm and the mirror head as shown here. Using a sharpie or a paint pen, mark the direction that is up on the power adjust motor. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove the four Torx screws holding the shroud into place. Make sure when removing the shroud to be aware of the side cap so that it does not fall once the shroud is removed. Disconnect the cargo light and pull the shroud away. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove the four Torx screws holding the power adjust motor in place. To access the two lower screws, adjust the motor to the bottom left hand corner. To access the upper two screws, adjust the power adjust motor up to the upper right hand corner. Disconnect the connector for the power adjust motor. While pressing down on the tab for the front marker light connector, disconnect the front marker light connector. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove the two remaining Torx screws from the mirror housing. With the mirror still halfway extended, push the backing of the mirror towards the arm so that it separates from the main housing. The signal on glass adapter harness has three connectors, one for the main harness, a second one to go into the front marker light, and a third one for the signal on glass. The harnesses are labeled left and right. Make sure the left harness is installed on the driver's side and the right harness is installed on the passenger side. Plug the male four pin connector into the front marker light wiring harness. Plug the other four pin connector on the harness into the back of the marker light. Route the two pin connector from the provided Boost Auto Parts harness for the signal on glass back between the backing plate and the main mirror housing. Make sure that the harness comes up and through by the screw hole. Screw in the two T15 Torx screws back into the mirror housing to realign the mirror with the backing. Line up the shroud with the main mirror housing. Make sure that the blind spot connectors as well as the defrost terminals go through their original slots. Also make sure that the turn signal on glass goes through the upper hole and the upper part of the mirror on the outside near the screw hole. Plug in the connector for the cargo light. Reinstall the side cap for the mirror. Make sure the shroud is fully pressed back into place. You may need to hold this until the screws are all screwed back in. Screw in the four T15 screws back in to hold the shroud into place. Plug the power adjust motor connector back into the power adjust motor. Clock the power adjust motor so it lines up with your mark from earlier. Screw in the four T15 screws for the power adjust motor. 
Before installing the glass, you must remove the two U-shaped guides on the backing plate of the glass. To do this, you can use a pair of pliers and pull them off. You can also use a Dremel to make it flat. We recommend making the U-shaped guides as flat as possible as this could cause issues if not done so. Insert the stabilization pins into their holders on the back of the glass. Reconnect the terminals for defrost. If your mirrors are equipped with auto dim and blind spot monitoring, plug them into this four pin connector provided. If your mirrors are just equipped with blind spot monitoring and not auto dim, this blind spot monitor connector will have to be plugged into the blind spot indicator on the mirror. Make sure the flat side of the connector faces up Press the connector fully in. You may have to use a small flat blade screwdriver to fully seat it into place. Rotate the glass and line up the stabilization pins with their slots on the mirror. When installing the glass, make sure you're aware of the stabilization pins in their guide. Make sure the stabilization pins go directly into the middle of the guide and do not end up behind or to the sides of the guide. With the glass lined up, connect the connector for signal on glass. Making sure the stabilization pins are lined up, use even pressure to snap the glass back into place on the power adjust motor. Reinstall the lower glass by pressing it back into place on the mount. Push the mirror in so it's not extended. The passenger side mirror is the same installation and procedure as the driver's side. Just like that, your installation is complete. To get the parts shown in this video, please visit our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.